Hey everybody, welcome back to the Truck Driver Sean YouTube channel. All right, today we are gonna go and try out the Protone preamp pedal. All right, put everything at noon time and uh, let's see how this thing works out. I can tell you it's very small for a preamp pedal, like very tiny. I mean, that's my hand. Most preamp pedals are a little bigger, but that doesn't mean anything. Let's see uh see what Protone has done. It was shipped kind of wonky, so I keep shaking and waiting for it to make noise. But <clears throat> here we go. Plug it in, plug it in. Yeah. All right. There's my clean nothing nothing tone on I gotta say that is disappointing to be turned halfway up and that's all you got oh that's fucking shit <laughs> all right let's crank the volume I guess That's probably the worst, absolute worst preamp I have ever plugged into in all my day. And I, I've plugged into a lot of them. That's absolute garbage. It, I'm embarrassed for Protone. Absolutely embarrassed for Protone. Now I notice there's no gain, there's just a volume. <clears throat> But it says preamp. So, uh, yeah. Um, uh, no. Sorry. Mm -mm. No. You should be embarrassed. That pedal does fucking nothing. Nothing. It's fucking garbage for a preamp unless you want to play like some straight up I have an idea. I have a dream. It says preamp on it. But it's clearly not a preamp. So, I know that opinions aside of of the guy that runs Protones, he acts like he knows everything, but motherfucker don't know shit. I'm thinking this is going to be more like a boost pedal, not a preamp pedal. So let's, uh, Let's get our crunchy crunchy on. That's a 
preamp pedal and a Boss Katana sounds better than a preamp pedal by a boutique company. Yeah, uh, you suck. All right, so. The preamp. sucks um i can't even try to resell this because in my opinion that's not a preamp that was a waste of money um thank you protone for making some shit gear that's cost me money and sits on a shelf that no one gives a fuck about that sucks that's not a preamp i should go get a bunch of preamps and bring them in here to show you what a fucking preamp is because that is not a preamp that does nothing. I could add, I could take some, add some treble. I could add some bass, but it just squeals and is loud and it's horrible. It's horrible. That's when I, that's not even my preference. I'm even going to go as far as say that's not my preference. That's just fucking garbage. And you, it's supposed to be like a boutique premier company. No, that if if I if I owned that company, if I owned Protones, I would track down everybody who owns one of those and offer to buy them back from them, so there'd never be any evidence of that absolutely shit fucking pedal. I am slightly irritated because it cost me money. Slightly irritated but i learned a lesson and maybe there's not a bunch of people out there that are saying something about it this sucks it it sucks it, maybe it's my personal opinion but preamps should do something besides sound just like a the clean channel does and when i put on the distortion obviously it just didn't do anything but add hiss and ugliness to what was already there. So I, I, don't, I don't know what this thing was supposed to do besides fucking suck. And if it was supposed to suck, congratulations. You built a shit pedal to suck and you nailed it. Fuck this pedal. Fuck you garbage pedal. Yeah. I'm that kind of irritated. I don't like it when pedals don't do shit. We live in a world where things are supposed to do what they do. Or at least something like what they're supposed to do. Might not be for you, but it should be doing something. That doesn't do nothing. It's garbage. Fuck that pedal. Like, straight fuck it hard. Later. Be good.